for many earlier on this morning, but there's a lot of sparkling spring sunshine and blue skies around today as captured by weather watchers here in northeast England and in northern Wales. Now, as we head through tomorrow, it's more of the same. It's another chilly start to the day with a touch of frost again. More sunshine around for most of us tomorrow, at least for part of the day, but it will turn cloudier towards the north and the west with an approaching weather front. But the weather front is quite far out towards the west today. We're dominated by high pressure, of course, out towards the east. It's just sending a bit of an onshore breeze towards North Sea facing coast. So here it's always going to feel a little cooler, but plenty of sunshine around. Some high cloud turning the sunshine hazy, especially across parts of Scotland. And it's cloudier across Northern Ireland, but still some sunny spells breaking through here. Top temperatures between 10 and 14 degrees Celsius, but maybe a 15 in the Murray Firth. Now, overnight tonight, there'll be lots of clear skies around. Temperatures are likely to drop below freezing for many, but we're starting to see our weather front approach the Western Isles and the far west of Scotland. Here there will be some outbreaks of rain and more cloud towards Irish Sea coasts as well, where temperatures will tend to be above freezing. Of course, milder with the cloud and the breeze out towards the northwest. And our weather front continues to move eastwards as we head throughout the day on Tuesday, eventually sending some cloud into eastern areas of Scotland and northwest England. But here it should stay largely dry. The best of the sunshine again for England and much of eastern Wales, where we'll see highs of 11 to 14 degrees Celsius. Not quite so much of an onshore breeze towards those North Sea facing coasts on Tuesday. Now on Wednesday, of course, our weather front just continues to move its way eastwards, eventually introducing some outbreaks of rain, but probably not until the end of the day for the far southeast of England and East Anglia. We'll start to see some clearance across Northern Ireland, so maybe some sunny spells here as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures again between 11 and 14 degrees Celsius. Our weather front continues to just clear its way eastwards, possibly some heavy persistent rain for eastern areas of the UK as we head throughout the day on Thursday. Some sunshine, though, but the west so unsettled through the middle part of the week but high pressure builds back in again in time for good friday and the easter bank holiday weekend Live from London, you're with BBC News. Finland will officially become a member of the NATO military alliance on Tuesday, the bloc's 31st member. Russian investigators detained this woman, Daria Trepova, in the hunt for the killers of a pro-war blogger in a blast in St. Petersburg. Donald Trump will fly from Florida to Manhattan in the next few hours to face charges over hush money payments made to a porn star. These are still live pictures here of Mar-a-Lago in Florida. After his court appearance, he'll head back there to his home and address his supporters. We'll be live in Florida. And these teachers say they're overworked and underpaid. They've rejected the government's pay offer and call for further strikes. Hello, I'm Lucy Hawkins. Finland is set to officially join NATO on Tuesday. Tomorrow, the country applied to join the military alliance in the wake of Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. The Finnish border with Russia is over 1,300 kilometres long, and NATO leaders are hoping Finland's accession will improve the overall security provided by the alliance. Turkey was the last of NATO's members to accept Finland's application last month, clearing the path for the blue cross on a white background to join 30 other flags outside NATO headquarters in Brussels. This is a historic week.